welcome to the project demonstration of RF controlled spy robots with video surveillance. So this project consists of mainly two features. One is RF remote control. Using this transmitter remote control, we can control this robotic vehicle movements forward, backward, left, right, stop. As well as while we are controlling this robotic vehicle through RF remote, we can get the visuals directly to our mobile phone through uh, Wi-Fi technology with the help of this ESP32 camera and uh, which has a night vision capability for that purpose we can just on and off this uh, from the uh, browser and uh, next uh, we have interfaced this uh, robotic vehicle to the peak microcontroller with the help of L298 motor driver so this is the L298 motor driver which is easy to control the directions of this robotic vehicle uh, which consists of the two DC motors directly and uh, RF data will be received with the help of this RF receiver and from there to the decoder here the uh, transmitter module with the help of the switches and the encoder IC and the antenna will be transmitted the data whatever the data was placed over here and the received data will be received by this antenna to the receiver module and from there to the uh, decoder IC okay so the after decoded data is given as input to our pic 16F72 microcontroller based on the signal buttons the system will control the direction with the help of this L29 motor driver the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 2 amp rechargeable battery pack so which can be recharged uh, from the solar panel as well as from the grid so the solar panel directly connected to this battery pack so this battery pack consists of 6 4 volt 1 amp batteries in that these 3 are in series these 3 are in series and these 2 sets are in parallel so we will get 12 volts 2 amp DC output directly and this transmitter section battery pack we need to connect over here and before demonstration keep the battery under full charge so for that purpose as we have provided the transformer if you place the kit on the sunlight also the system will get charged so just connect the B at this B slot as I shown in this video and now just keep it uh, very safely outside and now on the power supply to this transformer there you can see the light indication on the charging circuits uh, which will show the status of battery charging it will get a uh, fully charged in duration of 5 hours to 6 hours maximum time till the duration keep the battery under charging with the help of this transformer before demonstration and the next step is so first step is as we discussed keep the kit under the full charge battery under full charge and now uh, go to hotspot settings right configure the hotspot name to project 7197 without any space without any capital letter password should be 12345 so on successfully configure these hotspot settings and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz so now the next step is we need to install network analyzer application so this application we need to install so which is available in the play store to get the ip address of our camera module after all these setups successfully done so before on the switch this on off switch first connect this to the transmitter module right. so as we have mentioned the buttons backward left right and forward so first on the power supply to this on the hot spots now on the kitch okay otherwise if you don't on this transmitter initially then it will take as a uh, garbage value and it'll keep on moving either directions so you can see one device is connected in your mobile phone now go to network analyzer application and in that options land scan do the scan so there you get the two ip address one is our mobile phone ip address another is our esp3 camera just click on that open the browser right so there we get the visuals from the camera and also night vision capability right and coming to the robotic controlling directly we can control this forward motion so when you release the button automatically it stops and uh, right and left and backward okay let us see the demonstration on floor right so we can control the forward motion so we release the button automatically stops
and from the mobile phone we can control this light on Thank you.